hi guys welcome to our new tutorial the first tutorial in our new course which is geological modeling using betrayal software uh, the most important thing is to how to import uh, geological data uh, which means well data horizon maps as well as seismic we already uh, showed how to import seismic and on 2d or 3d and making horizon now we are moving on uh, to how to import uh, wells data wells delta means uh, deviation survey as well as open hole logs for future use now uh, this is a new project in Betrill. Uh, you can use I'm using uh, Betrill 2018 but you can apply whatever version you have starting from 2004 is the same methodology uh, just go here in uh, well right click here and uh, import oh sorry um, insert new well this well called dex3 dex3 uh, <clears throat> leave x y uh, as it is for a while we can modify it later on uh, now we need to import the survey import on selection and choose uh, well bus or division uh, be sure to check the data inside the division survey file uh, I'm using uh, measure depth in the first column inclination azimuth but you can change any format whatever you want depends on your data provider now we are moving on for survey just double click and choose measure depth inclination azimuth measure depth column number one uh, inclination number two azimuth inclination uh, sorry column number three and click for all and surveying just check uh, the data you entered already right click and see your division is it correct or no be careful z in negative value because it is negative each subsidy or meter um, just close then right click and import on selection uh, choose well logs well logs sk or less whatever doesn't matter same uh, now we have less file just double click and you will be directed to this panel <coughs> sorry uh, create new logs match existing logs specified uh, for in the time being we can leave uh, the default as the same but we can later on modify um, uh, the data structure or style it depends on the data provider so you have uh, you know in the common and on the task three three providers the weatherford Halliburton and schlumberger as a open hole logs now click for all okay for all and we need to see what happened in this data just go to well section window new well section window and choose dex3 as you can see here no data displayed in terms of well logs in spite you have already up unloaded imported all of this data um, go back to global well logs and click on all of this data uh, you have our lld lls microspherical neutron density sp whatever um, in our practice the most important thing for well correlation or stratigraphy or whatever uh, i need to see lld three resistivity curves as well as neutron density uh, caliber caliber and gamma ray is 
it's compulsory on the way. As you can see here, the data displayed is raw data with no any process against it. Uh, we need to uh, make it systematic or to be um, to be consistent with other wells and other projects for me. Now we need to uh, put gamma ray and caliber in one track. Just go to setting for wood section template, gamma ray and caliber. Let's put caliber in the same track of gamma ray and delete this empty track. Right click and uh, delete. Then uh, move this track to be in the beginning of the display data. Just uh, apply from time to time to check are you on the right track or not. Now caliber and gamma ray in the first track. Uh, now we need to put uh, LED, LEDs, uh, deep shallow microspherical resistivity three curves in, the, in one track. Just go to Microspherical and what here LLD and L microspherical and LLS in one track and delete the rest. Again, apply. Okay, good. Uh, now we will have two ready tracks, microspherical res resistivity as well as caliber gamma ring. Uh, the last one is neutron density and cross over between them to see the sand or reservoir zone. Just click apply. Now you have to make some setup for scale, colors, and whatever to be familiar with others. Uh, for instance, gamma ray usually uh, scale starting from 0 to 150. And click apply. Uh, as well as um, caliber in this whole starting from 6 inch to 16 6 minimum 6 and maximum 16 and leave this Cartesian scale as it is for caliber we uh, prefer to use blue blue line blue dashed line And gamma ray uh, usually use uh, green color, green solid color. We change green for instance. You can change it later on, no problem. I can share with you this file, this raw file, just for educational purpose only. Okay, then apply. Now you have two tracks to. Uh, sorry, two curves in the same track, caliber and gamma ray. Let's move on for uh, resistivity track, which containing three curves of resistivity, La deep and shallow and microspherical. Okay. Usually, uh, resistivity log ranging from 0.2 to 2000 ohm. 
maybe this is step for the rest of the curves, microspherical and shallow lemon okay Now you have the three curves in one track, but you have to, to differentiate each curve by its own color, but this color uh, depends on your corporate scheme or whatever you can change it uh, as per your need. For instance, uh, I can choose um, blue color for shallow and red color for deep. For microspherical, you can leave the black as well. Just zoom in and out to see the data already loaded here. Let's go back for because this one has three different curves. We need to widen the, the track and just make width, for instance, 40 millimeter as well as um, the scale should be uh, logarithmic logarithmic scale as usual for uh, resistivity law then click apply the final one is neutron density uh, neutron density is uh, just a Cartesian scale, a normal scale. Let's go for uh, density. I use as usual uh, red, red solid color. Okay, this one for density and the limit starting from 1.95 to 2.95 2.95 then click OK now go for neutron uh, use blue blue dashed line Okay. Uh, in some cases, you need to see the cross cross between uh, neutron and density. And uh, for the limit for uh, neutron velocity is minimum negative point one five and maximum. 0.45 this will show you the crossover but you need to feel the crossover between neutron and density curves to detect exactly the same location now go to for uh, curve filling and add new curve filling um, Usually the crossover between neutron and density starting from uh, density from curve density and to curve neutron and uh, field color uh, as well as uh, sand usually yellow color was dotted lines like this okay now you can see here clearly the sand distribution 
among the open hood logs click ok and save your project for future use uh, next tutorial we can show you how to deal with different vendors uh, or different format of logs uh, either the depth in meters or feet uh, as well as these codes different from three vendors as we mentioned in um, in this video uh, dealing with vertical and uh, deviated wells we can show you later on for the next tutorial thank you for watching and have a nice day sorry be before we leave uh, just uh, uh, i remind that uh, the neutron density should be in uh, reverse order the neutron scale should be in reverse go to a limit direction and reverse and then click apply okay now you can see the sand uh, already displayed in its true thickness and you can detect the sand thicknesses for each body thank you for watching and have a nice day